guys, we're going to the 7.3 power stroke. We gotta get it running again, because when you saw the cold start on it, um, you guys saw it was still running, but shortly after I ended the video, it started running rough and it was gonna die, so going back there once again at 41 degrees today, and we're gonna prime it, see how she runs. We're gonna do a couple diesel starts. They all have their separate videos in them though. The bus is included. Got the other battery. Got a crescent wrench this time to tighten the negative up. So hopefully we can get her going here. We should do fine at this temperature. She's at 20 degrees, it's not happy about it. This, this was left in here. Oh no, this is three diesel cold starts because I did this. Got that battery all cleaned. Still got the other six. The 24 battery, what you guys saw on the RAV4. The big, big battery laying on the floor was the one in there and that was way big for it and it was not really good anyway. So, took the 24 out of this and I uh, put it in my mom's uh, Toyota. And it works fine, so. Yes, I did leave that one disconnected. But. The positive is tightened up. It's just the negative that we need to tighten with the crescent wrench. Yep, there's the poor craftsman. Just lonely, all these other tractors too. So slick. But you already got the crescent wrench. Every single terminal is all tightened up now including the negative there's that battery that we now we finally got both 265 batteries in here so this one hasn't been used in a while I guess you want me to turn the key on don't you okay we're in here now we're just getting ready to crank her Once again, it fired up. Better stay running this time. Yeah, I'm glad the dinger don't work anymore. Better stay running this time. No, I did not have an exhaust clip set up. Oh yeah, I see what you're saying. Oh, look at that exhaust. Are you ready for this one yet? I got the key right here. Now we just need to let the batteries charge. 